Good morning, Knights. Welcome to this month's comedy show. For those of you who have no idea what's going on, aka the freshmen, the comedy show here at ND is a very big deal. It's reserved for the finest quality of students, so yes, I'm a big deal. I've been a junior for about a month now, and I already feel like I've been hit by a bus. Big thank you to my teachers for eating away at my brain, my free time, my self-esteem, my motivation, my iPad battery, etc., etc. Although, all this work has taught me a valuable lesson. Not to procrastinate. Like last night, instead of waiting until 1 a.m., I started my homework at 12.45. <laughs> Progress! Now, I mentioned I was a junior, so I've been very stressed lately. I think what would help me to stay calm and relaxed is having a really nice, super cute animal around that loves you back. But the only thing I could get was a cat. You really have to work with cats. I think with a dog, your only problem is, hey, maybe don't poop on the floor and let's go for a walk. But my cat has a whole list of problems. I think her main problem is me. How dare I walk in my hallway where she sits directly in the middle? God forbid I do my homework without a cat choking on hairballs on my paper. Ugh, being a dog person is really hard when you have a cat. But I get where she's coming from. I always look at my homework and think, I should throw up on that. I'm Allie Stein, and from Studio 51, this is NDTV. I'm Sarah Metz. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if everyone just said whatever thought was in their mind at any given moment? Well, so did we. So over the last week, we compiled a list of everything that popped into my mind, and I decided to share it with my fellow Notre Dame Knights to see what they would think, whether it's true or not. This is Ask Sarah Reports. <laughs> Craigslist. Uh, yeah, Craigslist. Uh, I heard like people get murdered from that. I'm not a big fan of Craigslist. I prefer eBay because there's a lot of wacky stuff from there and it's, it's dope. I like, I like eBay. Are you a cop? No. You know you have to tell me if you're a cop. Okay. Well, I'm not a cop, so... Okay, sounds good. How do you feel about Southwest not flying north? West. George Washington's corpse hasn't aged, as CNN reports. Do you think this confirms the Thomas Jefferson anti-aging theory? I think age is just something made up in our minds. We're only as old as we think you are. In my head, I'm five years old. <laughs> when referring to hitting it, <laughs> who is Quan? Who is Can I get the origin of the word, please? Who let the dogs out? Perhaps the cats trying to sabotage the dog administration? Uh, I don't know what we're talking about, so... Are you a cop? No. You know you have to tell me if you're a cop. No. That's the sound of the On jaw? On jaw. Thank you. Is it okay to call somebody the X word? It's absolutely not okay. I think it is totally messed up, and I feel really bad for people that suffer with the X word. I totally agree with this statement. Yeah, I third that. What actually is Victoria's Secret? I feel like it's something that like discriminates women. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'll see you next time on Ask Sarah Reports. Being a student is the life. You don't have any adult responsibilities. But we have so much work. I have a lot of work too. Let's stay together and we can get our emails done together. Come on, I'll keep you company. It's getting late though, I'm getting tired. I don't want to respond to any of these. I'm too tired to work. It's Sunday night.
How your day at school? Do you have any tests today? <sighs> yeah, Spanish. Senora Castillo is keeping my luck. Hello. What up, Tommy Dill? Hey, you know I heard about uh, DTs. I think we need to do away with them. Good morning, friends. Hey, Trent, what's up? Good to see you. What are we working on? <laughs> hey, ladies. What are we working on? Just some math. Yes, yeah, some pre calc. <laughs> That's always the hard. Yes, yes. I'm just trying to be chewing gum during class with you on the table, and you're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. It's max preps. I'm checking the scores. You can't be doing that during school. So I'm going to have to give you detention, okay? But I'm going to get coffee breath. You're going to get detention. Dang, no wonder she's up all night with these stupid emails. Um, Another email from Rob Thomas. Uh, I'm, this. I'm disappointed. I'm trying to keep up with the vice principal right now. Um, you also got this. Oh, I'm sorry. I was chewing gum. <laughs> Hey man, do you mind how you use a factory bathroom? Of course, it's right there. Thanks, man. They've got two ply. They got two ply? Our song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. Oh, oh my god, oh! oh. Wow, what a weird dream. Last week, the school was vandalized. NDTV students went out to investigate the situation. We asked Miss Cotty who she thought the vandal was. <sighs> you know? Robert McLeod, that's who I think it was. We have had some issues with him, and I will tell you, the most recent one, I was walking to the football fields, and all of a sudden, I didn't see it, but this volleyball comes shooting out of the courts, nails me right in the head, knocks me out, and I looked and saw Robert McLeod laughing. But why would she assume it's Mac and his friends? Have, have you seen Mac and his friends? <laughs> There is no way that it's not him. I'm Mac. I'm Colin. I'm Ryan. And I'm Ryan. We the homies. We like just chill a lot and drink a lot of Red Bull. Sometimes we play chess if we're bored. Alright, so I'm kind of bigger on here on the Notre Dame campus. Like everybody knows me and I'm just gonna go say what's up to some homies. Yeah, um, I don't really know those kids' names, but it's chill. Alright, what's up guys? I'm kind of the kid in the group with like, the most hops. We decided to go out and ask some more students who they thought the culprit was. It's always bad. He's always disruptive. It's gotta be Mac. It has to be Mac. Gotta be. How could it not be Mac? Mac. Mac. Mac stole one of my AirPods. 100% Mac. But there was another suspect around the Notre Dame campus. PJ Doyer. But who was PJ? Oh, 